Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, today I'm going to check out the new AVG Free Edition 2011. Show you guys what it looks like. It's a pretty big download. Um, the the initial little download is it's pretty short, pretty small. Um, but and would, like the installer itself downloads, I think 112 megs. So it's fairly large. Um, it is updated. Some of the main differences that I've seen are that they added the rootkit protection now standard. Um, and I'm sure there's other features, but I don't use AVG, so I don't know them all. But I'm sure they've, they've changed some different things, and of course they changed the way it looks and all that fun stuff. So, uh, they've also added this little deal here. Um, their little tab thing here. I don't know, that's just pointless in my opinion. It's just something else that takes up uh, memory. So, I got, I think, 15 links, something like that, that we can uh, test with. Uh, it also automatically installs. You can uncheck it, but um, I always do a stock install. Um, the a AVG toolbar. So this is the first link, and it looks like it. Uh, it got detected. trying to do this uh, remover thing here. Apparently it couldn't remove it easily, so we'll see what happens. We'll let that run in the background. Okay, that one's not working. Okay, it looks like it caught that one, but probably because of this here, it won't... Um, Let me see what happens if I close up Internet Explorer. Oh, okay. Looked like Internet Explorer was holding that process down from being able to finish. Say like that one's not working. We will move on. Okay, it looks like it found that one. Potentially a wanted application. Okay, it wants me to restart, but I'll wait to do that. Okay, found that one. You know, I really hate when that when that happens with AVG. Um, I accidentally hit enter, and now it's going through restart procedure. They should turn that feature off. It's just annoying. Just make it so I can only click on it, not when I hit enter. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when this is done restarting. Okay, so the computer is restarted now. Let's continue where we were. I think I was on this one. And that one's not working. And 
and neither is that one. Okay, that one's working. like we do have something running right here in the background. I'm going to close up Internet Explorer. That should allow this to finish. Yeah, maybe. I'm just going to continue. Okay, that one's a fairly large download. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to finish downloading, and I will be back when it's done. Okay, so this download is just finishing now. This is still going on in the background all by itself. Whatever this is seems to have installed itself, or maybe it's installing itself. Huh. It might be an okay application. I'm not yet sure on it. We'll find out um, exactly how good it is. So I am going to restart now because this is kind of stuck. So. I'm going to restart, and then I'm going to do a full scan with AVG, and I will be back with the results of the full scan when it's done. So I'll see you then. Okay, so, finished scanning here, and it found one infection, found virus, and temporary net files. So it got rid of it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab uh, my testing tools. I'm going to run CCleaner and then I'm going to run Malwarebytes. So I will be back when Malwarebytes is done scanning. See you soon. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished uh, scanning here and it found two things. Looks like it found two malware traces, so we're going to remove those. And I'm not going to restart right now. I want to do a scan with Super Anti Spyware, so I will be back when this produces a result, so I'll see you then. Alright, so, um, looks like um, Super Anti Spyware finished scanning here, and it didn't find anything. So, last but not least, I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro, and I will be back when uh, this is done scanning. See you then. Okay, so um, Hitman Pro just finished scanning here. This is just my uh, Super Anti Spyware one. Uh, but it did find two uh, Trojans, one in the Windows folder, one in the system, well, um, 32 folder. And they looked like they were like, how could you call it, um, replacement files that got um, 
put into these. So basically, this file is normally protected by um, Windows File Protection, and to fix it, it has to delete this file and replace it with an original one. So these two are kind of concerning. Um, they're not just regular um, malware or Trojan files that are on there. Um, so that's kind of interesting to see. Uh, other than those, and those couple of malware traces, didn't do too bad. Um, I personally never used, I, I've never liked AVG. Um, but if you got, if you like it, I guess it's um, good for what you could use it for. Um, I think there's other solutions out there that are more comprehensive and uh, provide you better security. Then, like I said, the nice thing is they finally put anti rootkit in the free version, so that's one nice thing. So, um, other than that, really, there's not much more to talk about on this. Um, Let's see, it's, I think, I don't know if I showed you already what kind of memory usage we got here. But um, the one thing I think they should have done is try to cons put some of these processes into, like, one or two. I hate programs that just start, have, like, ten processes. This has one. Yeah, ten, I think. Yeah, it's got ten processes. That's just... Even if they're not taking a lot of memory, I don't like to have that many things in there. They could have done it a different way. That's all right. Um, memory usage, not that bad. You're looking at, what, 15 megs? 15 to 20 megs right around there, so that's pretty good. Um, didn't feel it to be real heavy on the computer, so that's not a problem. The only thing is if you use AVG, you probably want to have um, something for zero day, because this is basically a signature. Um, type antivirus. Um, it does have a little bit of stuff here and there, um, but I definitely look at maybe something for zero day and definitely some kind of uh, firewall to augment with this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm gonna get it up on the net right now and uh, I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.